Hi guys, I'm back in the kitchen today cooking up a classic. This is something that we make in our house all the time. And as you know now by how I cook, no recipe required. So I'm gonna make for you my easiest Caesar salad. One of the things that I like to do is do it in a bowl that can go into the fridge. So you can make it earlier in the morning and then when your party's that night, you just kind of toss it up and it's ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do two cloves of pressed garlic. And of course you can mince it. See, nice and beautiful coming out. As you know by now too, I'm not scared of garlic. And today we're gonna jam to a little bit of Fleetwood Mac because it's also one of my favorites. Okay, so garlic, a nice scoop of Dijon mustard. Just take a whisk, pop it in. Does that look good? Looks good to me. In goes the Dijon mustard. A couple dashes of Worcestershire. Maybe like four, because we like everything kicked up with spice in our house. We're just gonna mix that together. So then we need the ingredient. It's gonna scare everybody, the raw egg yolk, but here it goes. Just use fresh eggs, come on. Coming, coming, here it comes. And, hello darling. Okay, so, no dish towel today. Just some little blue jean shorts. Mixing up the egg yolk with the mustard and the garlic and the Worcestershire. Okay. Then, um, just some powdered garlic. I need some powdered onion because I think it just adds more flavor. We have our Worcestershire. What else do we need in here? I think we might be able to do the olive oil and then I'm gonna do the cheese and the lemon and I'm gonna chop up my lettuce and we're out of here. Okay. Here we go. So I like to pour it in, as you can see slowly and then just whisk it together. And I'm probably putting in, I don't know, a half cup, maybe more, three quarter cup. I like a lot of dressing. So, let me show you. you see it's starting to come together. Okay. I think maybe like the olive oil is even supposed to be last, but there's really like no rules in my kitchen. Okay, so then we're gonna add in Parmesan Reggiano if you can. If you only have regular Parmesan, it's totally fine. But I love Reggiano. It's got like an extra kind of like salty flavor to it and it's just more robust. And with something like a Caesar, we serve this with grilled steaks. I do leftover chicken on it the next day. My kids eat it, which is amazing. Um, and so this gets me like, you know, twice a week all summer long. And let me know what other things you want me to cook. I was gonna do my buttermilk ranch today, but I didn't have all the ingredients because I have some friends down the street that I owe it to because whenever I make it, people always want the recipe or they ask me to drop some off. Okay, so it's getting nice and thick. Now, some lemon. Next Fleetwood Mac. There we go. So, fresh salads, things that are easy, everything on the grill for us, lots of steaks, lots of fresh fish. I always do a lot of salmon in the summer. Um, and I love to do a lot of things that I can make and prep and just keep in my fridge in case people come by. And something like this Caesar, I do. I just like make in the morning and I leave it in the fridge. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. Um, fresh pepper, salt, and we're almost out of here. Um, honey, if you're watching this, the Sonos is cutting out again and it drives me crazy when I'm doing my cooking videos. Thanks, can you fix that? Sorry, that was a side note to my husband. I don't even know if he watches these. Okay, salt and pepper is in here. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mm, yeah, so good. 
Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Okay, now, leaving this here. Here's our lettuce. I'm gonna very easily, have this knife here, just chop this up. Some people like the tear theirs. I kind of like it just sliced in this one because it's a little bit more uniform. So before I did this, I quickly made croutons. I take whatever bread or stale bread I had, chop it up, a lot of olive oil, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, 400 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. Um, everyone loves fresh croutons. They're worth it, they're so easy to make. Okay, look at all this lettuce. So we have this, look at this beautiful mess. Okay, then in goes all of our lettuce. Yum, I'm like salivating because I can't wait to eat this. Okay, don't want the good insides. Okay, so that's all in there. So now what I would do is put this in the fridge and then wait and then toss it. But I'm gonna toss it for you now so you can see how gorgeous it is. I have some good tongs here, I do, I can't believe it. Okay, so I'm gonna toss this. And then in the end, I'm just gonna add a lot more Parmesan cheese on the top so that it looks really beautiful and it tastes delicious. And also when I add the croutons, it adds a lot of extra seasoning. So for me, I like to taste at the end afterwards because when you drop those croutons in, you know it's gonna add a ton more salt. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. So easy, so good. Taste a little bit. Yum. So good, okay, croutons. I made before, in they go. Ah, oh, runaway croutons. We just like put so many of them in. I'll leave a few, because my kids are gonna come home and wanna munch them, as will I. Okay. Toss it up. Fresh pepper again. A little extra cheese. Beautiful. And I hope everybody has fun cooking this summer. I hope that you're not scared about having people over. Just you can always make enough for everyone. Have fun when you're in the kitchen. Enjoy yourself. Here's my homemade Caesar salad. I hope you love it. Let me know. Bye.